Shabbat Shalom, family and Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael. Come back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading on this Shabbat day from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, starting at verse 17. No, verse 18, Matthew. Okay, verse 17. I'll be reading from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and start at verse 17. And I read, Wherefore be you not unwise, but understand what the will of Yahweh is. Verse 18. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit of Yahweh. I read and say this. Drunkenness is a transgression of Yahweh's word. When a person a person are given to drunkenness, they excess, excessively indulge in wine and strong drink. They excessively indulge in wine and strong drink. That causes one's judgment to be distorted, perverted, and altered, wherein one becomes subject to the whims and the desires of their flesh. As it's written in Ecclesiasticus Ecclesiasticus Ecclesiasticus, bear with me. Because when you give them the drunkenness, it causes your judgment to be altered. When you will act in opposition to y'all's word. So uh, y'all commands us to abstain from drinking wine and strong drink excessively. As it's written in First Timothy chapter five, uh, where we would uh, drink wine moderately, a little wine, drink wine in moderation.
Hallelujah. With Ecclesiasticus chapter 31, starting at verse 26. The furnace proves the edge by dipping. So, so does wine the heart of the proud by drunkenness. Read the last part again. So does wine the heart of the proud by drunkenness. Because when one drinks wine and strong drink too excessively, when you're overtaken by the indulgence in wine and strong drink, it reveals the pride of the heart. And it's written in the scriptures, um, pride is the introduction or the beginning to sin. So refrain from drinking wine and strong drink, um, and about, refrain from indulging in wine and strong drink. To drink wine and strong drink excessively is to give over to recreational wine drinking, recreational strong drink drinking. It's written again, wine is as good as life to a man if it be drunk moderately. To drink wine moderately is to drink it during the feast days. It's not to be recreational in drinking wine and strong drink. What life is then to a man that is not that is without wine, for it was made to make men glad. Wine measures be drunk, and the season brings gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. But wine drunk with excess it makes bitterness of the mind with brawling and quarreling. Read that again. But wine drunk with excess makes bitterness of the mind with brawling and quarreling. So when you drink wine, strong drink excessively. When you indulge in wine, strong drink. To indulge in it means you you overdo it. You become taken over by wine, strong drink. You drink beer and Corona, uh, all sorts of alcohol, and uh, oh, uh, overdo it. You're you're recreation, recreationally involved in wine and strong drink. Let me say it again. You are indulging recreationally in the drinking of wine, strong drink. As you've been in Ecclesiastes chapter 31, verse 28, wine must be drunk, and its season brings gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. But wine drunk with excess makes business of the mind with brawling and quarreling. Drunkenness increases the rage of a, a fool to your sin. It diminishes strength and makes wounds. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool to your sin. So if you are drunken, mean you are drunken wine stronger to excess, you are a fool. You are a damn fool. And a damn fool knows not Yahweh. If you are drunken, then you are a damn fool. Because your judgment has been taken from you. Rebuke not your neighbor at the wine. Espouse him not in his mirth. Give him no despite words and press not upon him with urging him to drink. A drunkard will not hearken to wisdom. They will not receive wisdom. It's written again in First Timothy. I, re I quoted it earlier. In First Timothy, chapter five, and verse twenty-three. Drink no longer water, but use a little wine. But use a little wine for your stomach's sake and your uh, infirmities. 
A little wine is to drink wine moderately. If you're drinking wine, strong drink moderately, it, if you drink wine moderately, then it's not, you're not making it a recreation. You're not making it a lifestyle. You're not uh, indulging in wine, strong drink every day. For the feast days, it is acceptable to drink wine and strong drink. But even then, if you drink moderately during the feast days, then you're not indulging in the drinking of wine and strong drink. You're not drink, drinking wine, strong drink, back to back, back to back, back to back. Because it's written in Ecclesiastes 31. Go back to that. Ecclesiastes chapter 31. And verse 30. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool till you're finished. It diminishes strength and makes wounds. Verse 29. But wine drunk with excess makes bitterness of the mind with brawling and quarreling. Brawling and quarreling means you, you're ready to fight. But wine drunk with excess makes bitterness of the mind with brawling and quarreling. And drunkenness is a work of the flesh. If you are drunken, you're not of Yahweh. You're not walking with Yahweh. You're not doing His will. Galatians chapter 5. Verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry. Witchcraft, hatred, various emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresy, envy, murders, drunkenness. Drunkenness is a work of the flesh. If you are drunken, you are given over to a lifestyle of indulging in wine and strong drink. If you are drunken, let me say it again. If you are drunken, you have submitted yourself to a lifestyle a pattern and practice of behavior of indulging in wine and strong drink. And if you are drunken, you're not of Yahweh. You're not walking in his word, in his will. Revelings and such like other which I tell you before, as I have also told in time past, that they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. So if you are drunken, Family, you're not of Yahweh. It is acceptable to drink wine strong drink moderately. And moderate, moderate drinking of wine strong drink is you're not indulging it. You're not drinking it back to back to back to back to back. You're drinking a little wine, strong drink. You're not overtaken by the drinking of wine, strong drink. So if you seek to do your will, family, abstain from the indulgence, the over and the overindulgence of drinking wine and strong drink. If you're a drunkard, repent. Turn away from the indulgence of wine, strong drink. For the drink of wine, it clouds your judgment. And make you say and do things that you will come to regret. That will cause you to transgress Yahweh's word. And exposes the pride of your heart. I pray that whosoever will, let him come.
Let him come. I pray Yahweh your name exalted on your day. Your set up by Shabbat. I pray the name of your beloved son Yeshua Hamashiach's name exalted. Let your word be exalted on this Shabbat, Abba Yahweh. Stir your chosen to faith and repentance and to submit to your word. I give you honor, glory, and praise. In the name of your beloved son, Yeshua Hamashiach, so be it, so be it. Shalom.